Also, Sakura is homesick, and um, Shiro was. Shiro told her she he was gonna come back early and take care of her, and he's here. I would have been singing the Vocaloid song. I wish they would. I'll just die out loud. Strange how the scales tip. I mean, that's how it works. Look at Medea. She's pretty powerful in the uh, UBW uh, route. How is she on Fate route? She died. Fairly quickly. Same for Heavensfield. We literally killed her with a single slash. What would be like if the uh, parents were still alive like Tokiomi? Kiditsuku and the others during this war. I'm pretty sure Tokiomi would still be a jackass. <laughs> Wait. Why are we in your room and not the living room? With an utter lack of concern, she shows me through the living room and into her bedroom. It's because this place is more instruments ready. Instruments, you say? Okay. That is true. She did lose her master. She also lost her master in fate. We never meet him in the fate route. Hell, we never meet we never meet assassin's master. Wink, wink. Uh, on fate or heaven's will either. She really just gave up. Yeah, that's true. And then we had to kill her twice. <clears throat> uh, let's see. The living room is where... Uh, the living room is where you have tea, but we don't... We didn't come here to drink tea, right? You're right, but... I wish she'd think of me as a boy her age. Just sit down wherever. I'll be using sage and cards to concentrate... To consecrate you. But tell me now if you don't like either. <laughs> Closes door and locks it. Aw, oh, man, I've played enough Bloody Bride to know where that's going. That's okay, because of projection, Shiro is famous on the internet. Famous enough that Caster and Strange Fake heard about him. <laughs> not destroying the grail properly trying to avoid saber's gaze at all times saber yes Shiro. do you know my father you're gonna have to use a command spell on me to answer that question <laughs> Ugh. tosca opens the box by her bed it looks like a treasure chest from an adventure movie kisha's agitate is useless for this Oh, I'm out of sage. Can you bring some from downstairs, Archer? God, I keep forgetting Archer's still alive. Rin probably doesn't think highly of you at all, Shiro, so it's all good. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel better. <laughs> I'm not here to make you feel better. <laughs> I'm here to watch you suffer. <laughs> Scarlet Sage, right? Well, I don't think you'll need to go that far to distinguish this man. Well, he's not really famous. There's a line in Strange Fake. Um, the caster there has the ability to make noble phantasms that surpass the original. Uh, basically, what his master says is like, I need you to create these noble phantasms for me. He, he says, if you wanted a counterfeiter, you, there are better people out there. Also, I heard this rumor about this guy with this super... I also heard about this awesome, this guy with his super special awesome magic with the ability to copy weapons over and over again. So yeah, basically it's Shiro without ever saying it's Shiro. I'm working on editing that episode. I hope to have it out sometime next week. Maybe sooner actually. Depending on how much I get done tomorrow. There we go. Alright. I'll do whatever I please. You can rest downstairs after that. We have a pack, so you don't need to protect me. 
You're right. Right out here has the nerve to betray you. And I shall get ready for tonight. R remind me later. Thank you, Algato. You're not in use now, are you? No. Uh. How many riders I summon? I keep telling you, it's your it's your destiny to become a common rider. All we have to do is put you on a table and cybernetically turn you into a cyborg that is maybe used for evil, but then you find good, awakened by your uh, by your girlfriend, and then you become a hero of justice that rides a motorcycle and kicks people in the face. Let's find out. Status. Uh, abilities. Rider. Rider is chaotic good. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> Fits perfect for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. That must be Archer. His presence must be thin when in spirit form. I didn't feel much magical energy from him. <laughs> You know what, I, yeah, you know, uh, I want the guy who made Emiya's main blades. It'll be fun to see that conversation. Emiya's blades are a paradox, because technically he knows how to make the blades from seeing himself make the blades. <laughs> Holy shit, we're still going? Oh, he's kind of forcing everything in every variant of her story, so I have trouble thinking of, uh, her as evil, especially with how she acts in this story overall. That's okay. Remember, Gilgamesh is chaotic good. Yeah, he's good. From everything I've read in this, no, no he's not. I went to the movies and just got home. We're still here. Good to know. Oh yeah, I typically go for like eight or so hours. I wish to take over the world by the power of evil. Hey, there are evil common Riders. Eternal. Ark. Sorcerer. Technically White Wizard too. Um... There's... Dark Kiva, but he actually became kind of good, unless we're talking about his dad. Um, Negadino. I could really go on and on, but I'm not going to. I'm surprised I didn't notice that he was in the room. That's how it is if he's in spirit form. Even if he takes form, his magical energy won't leak outside as long as he's in this house. It's elementary for a workshop to shut in the magical energy. Actually, Turn this down just a snack bit, just because I'm having to be a little bit quieter since I'm not the only one in the house now. Oh, so is this the same for uh, Makiri? No, Mauta's place? Uh, Brian, can you go all night long? Lucky son of a gun. Uh, Brian, can you go all night long? Lucky son of a gun. Uh, they have names, and then it was made by a guy in China? I don't know. Wasn't he a good king in his story, though? Medusa was cursed with... Yeah, technique. Well, yeah. yeah. But see, that's my problem. Yeah, Gilgamesh isn't inherent. Well, he's chaotic. But my problem is, as he's presented in Stay Night, his personality in Stay Night is literally what I would describe as a chaotic neutral. He does evil things for the sake of himself. No one else. Never during this entire story does he ever do anything good. It's always to either better himself or because he's bored. <laughs> I'm actually writing a fanfiction where Fate Grand Order crosses over to our world and it becomes a battle between the people who want humanity to survive and the ones who want humanity to die out. Tell your mom I said hi. Also tell her to call me. I miss her. My mom is 65. Have at. Yes, but that place has no need to hide magical energy anymore. If they are hiding magical energy, it'd be the energy leaking out from the Magus himself, and not from the house. I'm gonna actually... There we go. Boost it just a little bit. Well, either way, it takes nothing to hide magical energy. I take Archer with me to school, too, but I'm resting him during the day since he's not up to par. Tosca rummages through the treasure chest with a difficult expression. It seems she can't find what she wants. <laughs> I've been with older women before, not proud of it, but everyone needs some loving. 
It seems she can't find what she wants. Is she the kind of person that never keeps anything in order? Really, why doesn't the wound uh, he received from Saber heal when all other wounds can be healed easily? I'm sure they had some connection. Jeez, why am I finding my master's jewels now? I can never find them when I want them, damn it. She leans forward and keeps fumbling around. That chest looks small, but it seems big enough to be able to fit Tosuka inside. Oh. Oh, he's talking about the treasure chest. I thought he was talking about Rin's tits for a second. <laughs> Man. There's nothing to prepare for. All I can do is pray that she'll find the thing she wants, which is look around her room aimlessly. Then... I see something. It's a photo. Look at this photograph. May no see as chaotic neutral. He doesn't really care about good or evil. All he wants is to cause madness and chaos. He's willing to help either side if it helps him. And the press are rather small, but Rin could fit inside them. <laughs> what do you want from me? Look, I just sit through a I just sit through a scene where I watch Sakura masturbate over uh, over uh, fucking Shiro's chest, and before that, I had uh, we had to deal with dream sex with Ren. Excuse me, that fate leaves me with uh, very little things to think about other than sex. A bookshelf that's about waist high is at the corner of the room. On it is a photo that looks to have been forgotten. Dust falls off it when I pick it up, and I can tell it has been left alone for a long time. It's not that she never cleans, just the picture is undisturbed. Does Koska not like seeing herself as a kid? No, if that were all, she could just put it away. Maybe it's important to her, but she doesn't want to touch it. But people sure can change. Tosca looks like she's five or six years old, and she's really cute in this picture. So she had long hair back then too, huh? The girl in the picture looks like she like she is just like she is now except younger. That's why I noticed the one thing that's different. Thanks for waiting. I'm all ready now. There'll be a little pain, but it's nothing you should be worried about, huh? What's going on, Emiya kun Oh, this, Tosaka. I show her the picture I found. Oh, that's an old photo. I just put that in the corner, but is something wrong with it? Well, there's nothing wrong, but... It's nothing much, so I hesitate. It's nothing I need to ask about, but it just caught my attention. <laughs> Does Koska not like seeing herself as a kid? Now she's probably getting annoyed that this was an awkward angle to shoot a photo from with 1994 technology and got annoyed that she could not remember anyone there to, ta to take the photo in the first place. One of the lines, I don't care if I helped you in the past, I won't let you destroy this place. I like it. I was never on your side to begin with. That being said, Saber Alter, you can kill them all. He sounds nice. <laughs> I was never on your side to begin with. With that being said, Saber Alter, you can kill them all. Oh, I see. You want to say I have a different ribbon on, right? <laughs> Gluttony's rolling it. <laughs> I nod. <laughs> That's natural. I'm a girl, so I have lots of ribbons. Even if it's my favorite, do you think I keep the same ribbon for over two years? Ten years? Maybe. Oh, she's right now that she mentions it. It's just an ordinary ribbon. Why was I so concerned about it? I'm kidding, that's what I want to say, but ribbons are special. It's the last resort for female magi. It's an appropriate magical item, so there aren't many substitutes for it. What the fuck, seriously? Ribbons are goddamn magical? How? To be fair, you're better off without the whole eating thing because it's only in Hollow Atraxia, and I'm pretty sure at this point everyone tries to forget about Hollow Atraxia. 
<laughs> if I get one subscriber, I'll play Hollow Atraxia for stream. Wink, wink. <laughs> God, that would have to be a lot of censoring. Whole lot of fucking in there. <laughs> I'll even do all the nudie scenes. Kansho and Bakuya. Then so I start saying Ying Yang, Crouch by Waxif, Ganj Yang. Of Wu during the spring of autumn period of China. Of a kid whose literal imagination and memory are magical, and you're complaining about a piece of ribbon that is an actual piece of clothing, unlike literal imagination. Look, I've watched enough. I've watched enough. Uh, Resha Sentai Tokyuger to know how powerful the imagination is. You can fuck up some giant monsters in rubber, some giant people in rubber monster suits with the power of imagination. It also lets you form trains together to create giant robots. Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. <laughs> wow. Can I feel like Shiro can copy any weapon he sees just so he can read its information in the main menu? <laughs> then is that ribbon some sort of magical item? Yes, holding the hair in place means holding the magical energy in place. My family doesn't have mystic eyes, so we have to at least keep our reserved magical energy from our hair. What the fuck? Um. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I don't. That makes sense. I'm gonna keep drinking till it does. <laughs> It's something that controls your body, so it's best if you make it yourself, right? That's the first ribbon I made. It was my favorite, but I parted with it for various reasons. Well, let's stop with the idle talk. I'm starting the consecration, so sit down in that chair. Look, the last time I sat down in a chair for a girl, she electrocuted the shit out of me. Tosca's analysis ends rather quickly. She lit an incense, did something like a tarot fortune reading, fortune telling, and asked me a few personality assessments like questions. Was she reading the uh, newest issue of CoverGirl while she did it? <laughs> what do you see in a man, Shiro? What? I'm pretty sure they're just weapons he saw at some point. And it's the only reason that Emi has got so many weapons inside of UBW is because he's seen all of them. And analyzed all of them. Sakura wears hers for uh, magical energy. And technically, she's not even wearing her ribbon right now. She's in her. Uh, or is it in her hair? I don't fucking know. Whatever. <laughs> don't care. And Tosca says You don't correspond to anything. Further testing would be useless. And quickly gives up diagnosing my magic circuit. Hey, does that mean you can't tell? And when I ask her, Excuse me? I found out that you're not related to the five elements. Any more consecration is out of my expertise, so it's useless to keep going. Which is weird that he chooses to focus on swords. Actually, I suppose it's even weirder that Shiro learned how to make those swords by fighting with Emiya. Or fighting with Archer to an to analyze the swords to make them. So he basically created swords that he had never seen before, except from his past self who had already seen the swords. Or future self. I'll just see what magic you can use and figure it out from there. <laughs> That's how it is according to her. I run through the strengthening magic using the clay she prepared. It's called an ether cluster, and it's a strange object that returns to its original form no matter what happens to it. It's a good conductor of magical energy. I strengthen it so easily that I'm afraid it won't recover, but... Shiniku? Sh so don't worry about it. It restores its original state in a day, even if you bundle it with strong magical energy. She says something like that. 
Shiniku, by the way, is meat that never goes away no matter how much of it you eat. Oh. Okay, no one needs to answer that question then. Anyway, I keep repeating the strengthening magic on the clay. I can't fail in front of Tosuka, but I only succeed 2 out of 10 times. Activating my magic circuit, which was easy when I had Saber, took a lot of time and effort. Tosuka asked me a few questions while I cast the strengthening magic. Whether I'm self-taught, whether I can use any other spells, how Kadetsuku taught me, and when I have the easiest time imagining pretty much everything that's seen on the fate route, so we're skipping all of it. Imagine a grail war with uh, Ganjiang was summoned as a saber and Imya and archer. Just saber yelling at archer for using his uh, knives so recklessly. That would actually be pretty funny. So, Tuska's expression darkens further with each answer I give. And by the end, she's shut up entirely. Everyone wants to forget Hollow Atraxia except for the Sakura in a swimsuit or the Sakura Medusa threesome. No, I try to actively forget those. Every day. <laughs> Every all the time. Look at the boomerang effect is kind of part of the curse they have on them. I don't know what she's angry about, but it's really awkward to be here if she makes a face like that. Tosuka, um, I know it's only a matter of course, but are you regretting cooperating me because I'm such an amateur? I ask her the most likely thing. Yeah, I do regret that you're an amateur, but in your case, you were taught wrong, or should I say that I'm surprised you're still alive with the way you're re you're doing things? Tosuka ponders. Hey, Tosuka. You lost me. Why is she glaring at me? Fine, I guess if I'm going to correct you, we'll have to start with the fundamentals, but let's go back to what we were talking about earlier. Is it true that the things you projected are still in your shed? Yeah, things don't normally go away unless you break them, right? I told her that I used projection as a breather in between strengthening magic. It seemed Tosuka is particular about it, and told me to use projection using the clay. She told me to make a vase. Everything started out smoothly, but in the end, I still failed. Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. For now, I'll teach you how to turn your switch on and off. Oh, baby, you can already turn my switch on and off. <laughs> uh oh. It's faster to make an actual switch in your body. Stay overnight. It's a drastic measure, so you'll have to stay in bed all night. You mean here? What's with that face? Don't worry, I'm not going to be performing surgery on you. You'll just drink some medicine. Well, you won't be able to move for a while because it's so strong. It's not that I don't like drastic measures. I look at the clock. It's almost five. I didn't notice since it's cloudy today, but it's getting late. Tosca is helping me as a fellow Magus. It makes me happy, and I'm grateful, but I'm worried about Sakura, too. I should. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> what should I do? There's a housekeeper. She can stay a bit long. Nah, nah. Can't leave Sakura. <clears throat> I'm worried about Sakura. I feel bad, but I should clearly tell her. Tosca, would you mind doing that at my house? At your house? Yeah, Sakura's lying sick at my house, so I want to go check on her. I won't be able to rest easy while I'm lying in bed unless I'm sure she's alright. Crap, that's right! She's astonished. It's only natural. Anyone would get mad if someone asked to cooperate but told them today is a bad day to train. It's in the big thing? Uh... Grab my summon ticket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's sent. Let me check. Does not look like it. So no, does not look like it. Unless the big thing was the uh I didn't even notice Max said anything about the friendship is magic. But yeah, no, unless you were talking about the other thing. Oh, 
lap back open. There we go. Alright. <laughs> you idiot! I wouldn't have kept you here for so long if you told me earlier! Huh? She stands up as soon as she yells at me. <coughs> then crosses the room and puts on her coat. Let's go. We've done everything that has to be done here, and we can do the rest at your place. We'll continue as soon as you're done with nursing Sakura, so let's hurry. Uh, okay. That'll help me out. I'll tell you now since I don't want to have to keep remembering this. Your nature is in projection and not strengthening. I don't know where you made your mistake or what your misunderstanding is, but you're a magus that belongs on the side that creates. Okay. That's kind of fucked up. That's like a lot fucked up. <laughs> Honey, I don't have enough iron. Would you kill yourself? Yay! <laughs> they gonna fuck! No, not yet, trolling. That comes later. By the way, trolling, you missed the masturbation scene. Tuska walks off down the hallway. I tilt my head in wonder, but I follow Tuska and leave the Tuska household. Interlude. Oh, this is great. The second hand on the clock ticks loudly, causing her to look up. It's past four o'clock. School's already over and he should be home by now, even if he went by the shopping district. I wonder what's going on. Senpai sure is late. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Sakura is out of bed. Rin and Saber. Or Rin and Shiro are about to walk through that door together. Why? Why can't this route just be nice to Sakura for once? Why? Well, technically you missed the masturbating while you were out apparently watching movies. <laughs> she leans on the wall and murmurs absentmindedly. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, Sakura, I'm stealing this route from you. He may be an idiot, but he's kind of big. <laughs> She feels heavy and dizzy. She's surprised at how quiet her voice is. The second hand is annoyingly loud, but her words are almost inaudible. Only simple sounds echo in her ears. The phone rings. Ten o'clock, who the fuck is calling? Oh. The monstrous ticking off the clock and the painful thumping of her heart. My Wi-Fi hates you. It took five minutes to load the stream. Oh, damn. <laughs> the two sounds enter her brain, even if she covers her ears, and her dizziness gets worse. Isn't that strange? I'm really not sick anymore. That's why she sent the housekeeper home. She was down to her normal temperature when she checked it, and she was able to cook her own lunch. She was just fine after lunch, and she waited eagerly for his return. I saw things. <laughs> now it'd be an awful time for OBS to accidentally stop the stream for two seconds. <laughs> fap, 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 fap. It's hot. But yeah, I saw the things like the uh, the line you posted about it. But anything like if there was anything you posted before that first comment, I didn't see it. Or like anything after the other ones that you said after that, then I didn't see it. But her whole body is hot now. The heat source is in her, so it has to be something else. Between her blood vessels, between her muscles where there are no spaces, something that's not her is in there, turning like a car engine. Her fever is so high that it makes her imagine such a thing, and the abnormality is unprecedented. The sensation is strange and unpleasant. <laughs> she isn't the only one that's in pain. It's shared by the things in her body, crawling through her blood vessels and nerves. Oh yeah, I saw about the uh, the Saber Alter personality. How she isn't, she doesn't eat, or like she doesn't do all the food and stuff like that. 
As long as I get him for sloppy seconds. <laughs> make that thirds. Make that fourths. Saber's dead. And we haven't seen... No, wait. We saw Ilya. I forgot. <laughs> Anyways. To speak figuratively, it's like a dog looking for the exit to a can filled with meat. The heat source, the things within her, are trying their best to fulfill their role. Thinking about that makes them seem charming. She cannot make herself hate the sensation. The clock is... The clock's loud. She looks up at the clock absent-mindedly. It's 4.30. A bit longer. He should be back in half an hour. She has to calm down and suppress the things running around inside of her by then. It's fine. It's happened many times before. Yes, yeah, she's used to it. She's been disciplined and reformed many times since she was a child. She tells herself that it will be no trouble this time either, but her fever does not go down, and the things within her keep speeding up. No, this is strange, senpai. Her body does not calm down. She has never been able to. What's missing? What she needs? And what has changed? She tries hard to think about these questions, but the ticking of the clock keeps distracting her. Huh? The sound? When she realizes the sound is not the clock, but a warning from the house itself. Oh, Emiya's not here. That's convenient. A familiar person enters barefooted. Huh? Oh, Emiya's not here and you're getting all hot and horny by yourself. Did I use Ryder too much, like the old man said? <laughs> Make that fifths. He comes into the living room and walks over to the girl leaning against the wall. She tries to run but can't muster the strength. No, she had no will to run away from the start. Even if she gets away, she can never truly escape. This is your last order, Sakura. You said you'd do anything, right? The one looking down at her is smiling. Let's go. I have to settle my match with Imiya. I'm sure you want to see him cry. So I'll let you see it up close. The boy grabs her arm and hauls her to her feet. No, I don't want to. She tries to get away, but lacks the strength to do so. The man pulls her in and grabs her neck. Don't disobey me so much, Sakura. You're making me want to kill you. You just have to keep obeying me. No, it's not as you promised, Nissan. You said you wouldn't do anything to Senpai. She protests, her hair dis... Disheveled? Dis... Dis... Heal... I don't know. He stops her. She he stops her with his foot. He has let go and kicked her stomach. Collapsing to the ground, she lets out a moan. I'm being kind. I have the medicine I got from the old man, but I'm not using it. He forces her to her feet. He grabs hold of uh, the coughing girl's neck once again. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. I won't tell him about what happened. But I won't be satisfied until he gets hurt. He puts his mouth close to her cheeks and whispers in delight. With her neck held, she shuts her mouth in vexation. She tries to accept this turn of events, thinking that it always ends up this way. Yeah, that's right. Let's go ahead, Sakura. This is Imiya's territory. We have to be in my territory if we're going to play around. Ryder, bring this woman with me. Giving her a violent shove, he exits. The girl raises her head. There stands a servant with long hair.
I'm home. I raise my voice as I go into the house. Then, I feel something strange as soon as I enter. The hallway, Imiya-kun. She doesn't even need to tell me. There are footprints on the floor. The only shoes I see are Sakura's. The housekeepers aren't there, and the house is dead silent. Sakura. I go into the guest room. It's empty. The strange feeling turns into an ominous conviction. No, she doesn't go dark for a while. We're still not there yet. Jumping the gun. Also, bear in mind the movies are getting cutting to like two or three. Don't expect to see Dark Sakura in the first movie. That's all I gotta say. I think maybe at the end of the second one she'll go dark. Maybe. The strange feeling turns into an ominous conviction. Yeah, ominous. Uh, ominous. I return to the living room. Sakura isn't here either. The footprints end here in the living room. Somebody came in here with his shoes on, did something in this room, and then went back outside. No, he came in barefoot. That's what it said previous. Whatever. Emiya-kun, look at the floor there. It's small, but there's a trace of blood. I know, Sakura was here. Mm. Even then, I'd still say this is the better source. In all honesty, if she goes dark first movie, I don't mind the second movie filled entirely with Shiro monologuing about loving a human even though they've been cutting down his kind throughout history. Third movie can go back to the plot. <laughs> I still think the better option, if you, like I, I'm not against seeing the uh, Heaven's Feel movies, but realistically, for all the better in-depth information, this this is your better source. It's like trying to watch the uh, it's like trying to watch the Persona Three movies to understand Persona Three. Yes, I know. Sakura's waiting for me alone in the living living room, but is not here now. There are unfamiliar footprints in the hallway. That's all. It's more strange not to draw a conclusion. The answer is clear if I think about it just a bit. Calmly. 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 Calmly think and I can tell what happened here, so... Please don't leave my stream, I need viewers. Both? <laughs> I mean, I will for- I will for hundred- like, 100% ever say that sure Dean's Fate Stay Night was a bit eh, mixed. UBW was good, and the Heaven's Feel movies will probably be good too, but neither none of them will ever hold a candlelight to the original source. It's it's like kind of trying to compare the movie counterpart to the book. It will never hold the same amount of weight, but they can still be both good in their own right. Now that now that I've got that out of the way. The anime sucks! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why is my head not working at all? H hey, Imiya kun. I should have come home earlier. I should have thought about it more seriously. Didn't I have Sakura stay over for fear of just this situation? Mato Zoken said Sakura is unrelated. Why did I believe his words? There's no way she's unrelated when she's part of the Mato family. So why? Why did I believe such a convenient story? Oh, someone's ringing. The phone rings. I nod at Tosuke and slowly pick up the receiver. Hello? Are you finally home, Imiya? It's Shinji. There's no mistake about it, and I knew this was what happened. What have you done with Sakura? Huh? I only took back what's mine. I can't leave her at someone else's house forever. 
Because you're a dumbass, Shiro. Also in the VN, you get Tree Shiro. That's that's true. There won't be no Tree Shiro in the Heavensfield movie. You can bet your ass on that. Also, no fucking. <laughs> My fear is there's going to be no fucking soon. <laughs> kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> you said Sakura was unrelated. Well, you see, Sakura's last name actually is. So uh, what are you doing? Spoilers! Literally just got mad because you said she wasn't related. Now you're going to get mad because I'm telling the truth the entire time? <laughs> I think we're finally getting to that revelation, though. God, how many streams have we been through, and we're just now getting to that? <laughs> That's great. You're getting pissed. You're vexed that I took Sakura. Tosca must be able to hear Shinji's voice because she's leaning forward. I raise a hand to stop her and urge him to go on said in chat before, so I'm not concerned about that one. <laughs> yeah. That one, that one's an obvious one. The, de the original Fate Stay Night anime already ruined that. But to be fair, I don't think they're, like, everyone likes to give the Dean's Fate Stay Night uh, anime crap, but really there is no good way to make a Fate Route anime. Who here has been following my Fate, my fate Route in, uh, uh, let's play that I've been doing. Who thinks that would make an exciting anime to watch? Maybe the three fights that have happened in there? Everything else? Meh. <laughs> also, Zero says it. Yeah, but Zero came way after Stay Night was written. Also, realistically, you shouldn't be reading slash watching. Prepare Zero is written, assuming you've finished Stay Night already. Yeah. Yeah, I have not. Trolling, I don't expect you to watch my shit. I just expect you to stay here and, uh... I just expect you to stay here with your comfy little ass. Uh, I have. It's not good anime material. Yeah, it's... It's really not. The... Uh, the Fate Route suffers uh, Metal Gear Solid Syndrome. Shiro only asks questions to get information, which is why that information isn't gone over heavily in UBW or Heavensfield. Because they assume you already know. They assume you already know it, which is why they're allowed to, like, get away with a lot more stuff with it. It's like, we didn't spend two hours here, Ren talking about, okay, well, how were you trained in magic and all that stuff? They just skipped on by it. Because it's already happened. And it assumes that. But yeah. My ass is very comfy. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Don't waste my time. Just tell me what your business is. Eh? You should know. Let's decide our match. You don't think that last fight was the end, do you? Watch Dean Stay Night, then Zero, then UBW, then Heaven's Feel. Pretty much. That, that's a pretty good frame of reference to go. Ooh. And then go read all the other books. And then go play Fate Extra. And then be overly frustrated at Fate at Fate Extella. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, I do. You ran away. Everything was decided right then. It's not decided. That's the difference in our servants. Not your power. I wouldn't have run away if Saber wasn't there. There's no way I'll lose if Saber doesn't come. Okay, Shiro, how, how are you training magic? Ren, what are you what are you doing? We Oh god, I can't read it. Damn it, it went by too fast. Damn. Uh well, let's go back over here. Here we go. Okay, Shiro, how are you training magic? Ren, what are you doing? We covered this last row. Are you not supposed to learn it this route? Well, the readers have already read this, so there's no point in rereading it. Fine, have fun dying in explosion with your <laughs> expertise in projection magic. And then watching humans fate extra and fate extra triple C, then Extella. And even then, Extella won't make a lot of fucking sense, because I can't play the other routes of Triple C, which are also referenced in Extella. I mean, I could link you to, like, half a dozen different places that have the Dean Stay Night on it. I'm, I'm not advocating watching stuff online, but I'm just saying, let's say, hypothetically, if I could, I know where to go. I got connections, see? Good connections.
I mean, Dub's not bad. He's got Liam O'Brien. Can't go wrong there. Also, can we just acknowledge how stupid Shin's argument is? Uh, you beat up my Medusa with your saber, but now that saber's dead, my Medusa will beat you up. What does that have to do with anything? I want to kick your ass. <laughs> Hope this research for your novel helps you out in writing a character watching the anime the wrong way. <laughs> Anyways, if Saber doesn't come, I see. I wish BB and the Alter Egos are DLC characters, at least in the new Extella game. Dude, you know what I fucking hate? And I don't know if you've been here for this. There is an entire section in the uh, the art book, or the, uh, wait, what is it? The materials book, quote, quote, uh, that came with the limited edition of uh, Extella. That is the only way to learn the backstory and the motives for why Archimedes is evil in Extella. Worse even that, there's an entire section in there dedicated to Robin Hood, who was supposed to be in the game, but got cut, and they didn't even bother to make him a DLC character. Instead, they just decided to push out a ton of, like, costumes for the girls, because... Fuck actually making bonus stuff, I guess. Having Inhuman make a cameo as Jean of Arc. <laughs> or Joan of Arc. Nice. He exists in Grand Order. I'll be happy. And then, of course, let's not even go into the details of how the backstory for Extella, the what happened in Extella's extra, you know, is never explained in the game. In fact, so many people got so pissy with Nasu about it that he had to post it on his blog. You know, not put it in the game or anything, because, no, nah, that just makes way too much sense. <sighs> I have issues with Extella if it isn't apparent. Let's just say, I'm not very happy. You're never happy! Anyways... I see. Ryder must not have told Shinji that Saber was eliminated. <laughs> Taking out Robin Hood. <laughs> getting angry, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting angry, and you wouldn't like me when I get angry. I'll just summon my tree brother Romulus. Shove a tree so far up your ass, you'll be shitting pine cones for years. Yeah, I acknowledge you as a member of Rome. I like you too. You're a tree. Rome, tree. Rome, tree. To be fair, that sounds exactly like some. Here's my question. How did Caster survive? That's my biggest question I have about that backstory. So, she was an enemy servant. Correct. Theoretically, they would have had to fight in the extermination battle. How did she survive getting deleted? Do we use, like, command spells to save her or something? Or what? I desperately want to know, but... I don't want to look it up because I shouldn't have to. And I'm a firm believer in that. Anyways. <sighs> oh, that must be why he kidnapped Sakura. She joins you for the final battle? Okay. Oh, no, I mean, like, it, we're... No, I mean, like, in the backstory. I mean, like, in the backstory for Fate Extra, it's explained that that she was the in it, that she was a servant of an enemy that was sent to seduce the main character, but he actually, like, genuinely cared for her and everything like that. <laughs> uh, and uh, everything like that, and forgave her for, like, all this stuff, and that's how she fell in love with him. But it's like, how did she survive getting deleted in that world? Like, that's, that's what I really want to know. But, uh, like I said, I don't want to look it up. Anyways. Uh, in short, this phone call is... Shinji, what are you going to do with Sakura? 
Nothing. But that would depend on what you do. I won't do anything to Sakura if you come alone. You know what that means, right? I stopped Tosuka. If she interrupts now, there's no telling what Shinji will do. So you want me to fight you without Saber? No. Rome tree, Rome tree, Rome, Roman trees. Shiro and Romulus fist bump. Uh, she's probably a master hacker like Kirito. Could have given the group a delete literally every bad guy ever button like Kirito too. That uh, wouldn't surprise me. I, and I, and I, and I know when I publish that episode, when I blast the shit out of Extella, when I talk so much shit about it, I know there's going to be several comments that literally say like, oh, well, you can read the backstory right here. And it's not that I could read it. That's not the issue I have. It's the principle of the matter. I shouldn't have to go on the internet and find out a crucial story bit. Now, if it was a true sequel to something, if it was, say, like the difference between... Uh, say like the difference between fate zero and fate stay night where it's like okay there's a thing here that's understand here but it expects me to have already seen this other thing to understand it that's understandable but the point is this is an entirely different world with an entirely set of events than what we got i need this information to understand everything it's the same reason i give so much crap about the romances between the main character and the servants there is literally no build-up the only build-up is this world that we're never shown and these events that we've never seen. Literally, you're just telling me they're in love. Accept it. And I don't want to. Does that have a flash on CW works? Half the community needed a guide on how season three worked. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Many rants over. I apologize for that. <laughs> oh, that's, re that's really how I feel. It's like, I love fate. And I will always love it. But my God, does some of the shit just drive me bonkers. Ugh. I'm glad you're perceptive when it counts. We'll fight at school. Come alone, okay? Ryder set up a boundary field over the school. I'll know right away if you bring Saber along. As long as I don't get banned for even mentioning Season 3, I forgive you for the rant. Dude, I haven't... I, I haven't even... Well, first of all, I don't have cable anymore, so I can't watch TV like that. Two, I, 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 I'm so tired of this superhero bullshit. I am so over it. I am so tired of superheroes. It's like, I love Marvel to death, but I am so tired of this connected universe bullshit and having to watch everything to understand everything. I don't even want to start with DC's crap. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't. <laughs> uh, but yeah. If that happens, I can't guarantee what'll happen to her. I hear the sound of him kicking something. I'll go right away, but just in case, I want to know one thing. Are you a master, or are you Sakura's brother? We should it be another big titty Dartoria with a police costume on? Oh, God. It's okay, it's just a big titty police girl. I have a name, you know. What's that police girl? I just ranted on Discord the other day how I started watching Arrow for Vigilante Nonsense. Not long hour commercials for another TV show. Oh god, yeah. Join my side as a villain and human. It's more fun, and we have cookies. Cookies, you say? <laughs> or are they oatmeal raisin? Anyways. Huh. Are you joking? Why would I be this shit's brother? Well, she's not completely useless because I can lure you out like this. Alright. I'm going to go fight you as a master. We have every kind. Then we must fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but as my, as my pride over the cookies, I must fight you for them. Big titty police women. <laughs> Get that bitch a cannon. Bitches love cannons. Yeah. 
Yeah, if it ends up being a fight. I put the phone down. I start off right away. Hold on. Are you really going to go alone? That's what he wanted. We can talk later, Tosaka. That's my line. Shinji has Sakura as a hostage. Let's see. Are you a master or are you Sakura's brother? Dang it, Shiro. Do you really not remember from the stupid Dean's Day night plot twist that jumped the gun a few routes? I asked Medusa to use her mystic eyes and me offset last route to make me forget that anime even existed. What plot twist did they jump the gun on? Just hurry up and get there. I'll try to show it into the scene here. <laughs> To be fair, even if they were related, Shenji has never seen her as a as a sibling. Yeah, bitches love cadence. <laughs> Damn right they do. <laughs> I'm a villain, so I have four forms with my last form being immune to almost everything. That sounds right. That sounds okay. I've got main protagonist syndrome, so I'll fall nearly the end of the stage, but then I'll develop a deus ex machina power that defeats your final form. Through the power of bullshittery. Also, you'll deplete all my other forms before I get my deus ex machina power. Let's rumble. Sa, showtime. You'll be killed if you go. Seeing you die will be unbearable for Sakura. We should wait and see and come up with a plan. <laughs> we need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. I know. But we don't have time. I can still hear her moans in my mind. I see. Would Shinji kill me in front of Sakura? Yeah. Yeah, he would. <laughs> the only thing that can defeat me is joining your side. And good is boring. Ah, there's your first mistake. I cross the line between being good and evil. I am true neutral. Yeah, someone with Okada sent me a friend request for once. Finally getting good at this game. <laughs> there is no getting good. You just do a little better each time. <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know, but that's highly possible since he's using Sakura as a hostage. Hey, are you alright, Imiya-kun? You look calm, but don't tell me you've actually lost your cool. I've lost my cool? She asked me if I can only think about going to school and punching Shinji in the face? Oh, then. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. I'm mad at myself for not saying anything because I thought it was a family matter. <laughs> okay, Dr. Neutral, you have to convince me your side is more fun and then I will join you. There is only one simple answer to this. <laughs> oh god, I got enough for a YOLO so I can buy a card and pull Medusa. I think she finds me worthy for the offstage comment. <laughs> Mega Dark Drago. I possess that he who fu uh, he who commands over all of this land. Dare you follow the king's law? I command the king of heroes. I am Gilgamesh. <laughs> What's so funny, Archer? Oh, it's nothing. It's just that your face looked absolutely priceless. Oh, what was it? Like, uh, the faces of the ver- of the, uh, oh god, what was it? Of the virgins who showered me with flower petals? God, what, what was the line from Zero? I forget what it was. It's like, <laughs> Day six marking a final ball. <laughs> Day six marking. Wait, whoa. the face of the virgins who showered me with flower petals. A woman after my own heart. I love that that comment so much that he says in zero. Just laughing at uh, Saber, and he pulls out that comment. Uh he said he's not a brother. Such a guy took Sakura. He took her, so I'm going to go take her back. Don't do anything, Tosaka. Shit, I forgot your Gil voice. My only weakness. One sec kills former employer. <laughs> My voice brings all the all the people to the yard, and it's like better than yours. Damn right. <laughs> 
If anyone here is a part of an s group, please change Shiro's Reality Marvel to literally Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> oh, were it so easy. I go outside. The sky is dark and the sun's about to set. I bet it'll rain tonight. I have to come home with Sakura before that. Now, hold on, didn't you join forces with me because you couldn't save people by yourself? I stop. Her words splash cold water on my heated brain. I'm sorry, but Sakura's in danger. I know it's suicidal to go alone, but this is all I can do. My entire life has been unlimited blade works. <laughs> I may give you Gil in your cameo just for the lulls of it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I've been fucked. <laughs> Look, you've got to stop with that. I've been fucked before. Oh, what a coincidence. So are all these children. I can't do that voice as well because I can't scream anymore. <sighs> I thought I thought so, but I can't readily help you as long as Shinji is holding Sakura hostage. But Emiya-kun, if you can manage to get Sakura back from Shinji, I can do the rest. <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> Holy girl showed me enough hints I to know where this is going. Squeeze her once when she isn't looking, suddenly she sucks my penis. <laughs> that is still my favorite from Bluebeard ever. Did Medusa come up in the Gouda storyline, by the way? I don't understand why she's a bonus. Um, yeah, she was with Darius. She was, uh... Uh, Darius was Takeda. She was, um... What is his name? It's the dude with the twin spears in Sengoku Basara. Oh, what was his name? Mm, it's gonna bother me. But yeah, she was there. She basically translated everything that Darius was saying. The two-star Lancer guy? No, 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 no. Uh, nah, in, uh, since Sengoku Basara is based upon, like, the, uh, that the same time period that all their names are taken from the guy in the game is, uh, uh, the guy from Sengoku Basara is the name that Medusa had, but I can't remember his name. Uh, uh, I can only remember his first name. Sengoku Basara. Do, do, do. Uh, is this it? I don't know. Let's find out. Ah, Sanada. She was uh, Sanada Yukimura, the uh, second in command to ta to uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Shingen Takidai, Takida, I think his name is. I don't know. I'm bad with names. But yeah. And then Saber showed up as uh, Kenshin U Usuge or something like that, who is at war with uh, that that group. But yeah. I, I think that's really my only problem I have with the Good Good event is, for anyone who doesn't know Japanese history, that event is fucking confusing. And there is no context for any of it. Like, I was only familiar with the names thanks to Sengoku Basara. Anyways, <laughs> you'll take care of Shinji? No, I'm talking about Ryder. Servants are ones who fight other servants, right? Your cameo, I'm thinking of having you save me somehow, but not sure if John would help my main protag, though. <laughs> oh, come on, what's better than having a holy virgin that'll tell you that you're doing, that you should be on the side of good? Or something else, I don't know. Gilgamesh was funny in the event. Absolutely, because he was, uh... I don't remember who he was. 
I, yeah, that's that's another problem. I, uh, I didn't remember who he was supposed to be. I was actually just at that point on the Sengoku Basra wiki when I was trying to remember how to type all their fucking names. I'll be hiding, so do anything you can to save Sakura. If you manage that, if you can manage that, I'll save you no matter what, even if you're about to die in the next second. Tuska sounds like she's trying to convince herself. This is just going to increase the burden on her. I'm fully aware of that. I got Tuska to help me, and now Tuska's trying to fulfill our promise. That convinces me. I'll rely on Tosuka. In return, I'm going to get Sakura back. All right. I'll leave the follow-up to you. Yeah, but that's under the condition that you're still alive to protect Sakura. Even Archer can't protect Sakura while fighting Ryder. It's meaningless to save Sakura at the cost of your life. The school building is deserted. Thanks to the series of comas, the school closed early. It's not even six o'clock, and there are no students or teachers to be seen. Can you tell where Shinji is, Tosuka? Knowing him, he's probably inside. I'm sure he's waiting in familiar territory on an upper floor. That could only be one place. Shinji is in the classroom on the third floor. I'll go ahead. You come later, Tosuka. Okay, I'll go through the gate after ten minutes. I didn't tell you, but a boundary field sets up here. Uh, but a boundary field set up here. I'll be found even if I had my presence, so keep their attention so they don't notice me. I nod and start running. Would use the fact I do fight the evil side to say that I have good in me? Probably. No one is without sin. Can you tell where Shinji is, Tosuka? I'm a Magus, not a Jedi. What is the... What is the force strong on campus or something? <laughs> In return, you get a spear in the ass. Okay, now it's just Mash telling you to stop abusing the fourth wall. <laughs> There's hot steel in my back. The magic circuit is already made. I tell myself that my only weapon is meant to protect Sakura, not to arm harm my enemy. <laughs> 